Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Asari. So, in this lesson, we are going to uh, learn about the usage of uh, go to statement uh, in C. So, go to is known as uh, so unconditional uh, jump statement uh, in, in C programming language, or else it is quite common uh, in all other uh, programming languages. So, the, the usage of go to uh, gives the power uh, to you to jump to anywhere, uh, any part in the program. Okay. So, uh, Godu is also considered as one of the, the worst uh, nightmares for a programmer. So, uh, the uh, programmer is advised uh, to avoid the usage of Godu uh, as far as uh, possible. Okay. So, uh, let me launch the idea here to demonstrate an example uh, for Godu statement. So, quickly let us create a project here. Uh, let's name the project as Godu C. So whatever you want it, uh, let's create a new C file. It's all uh, usual common procedure. So let us uh, uh, name our file as code.c. Okay. So here we have uh, a plain uh, a C file here. So let's add our uh, header files. Okay, header files and main and everything. So here, uh, let's uh, take a variable uh, to demonstrate uh, the use of uh, go to statement, and let's center some value into it. Uh, used to into the variable i. Let's have a statement. Okay. So scan of percentage d. Okay, so now uh, let us say that if the number of uh, pi is less than 10, okay, let's have, a, let's say uh, something like this, okay, like, sorry, not i is less than 10, so let us say that if i is less than 0, okay, so print of So or else, uh, let us make it like this, phi is greater than 0, so printf, uh, thank you, let's have a small message here, thank you for a positive number, something a small message inside a condition, okay, so in else part here, uh, so let's have another uh, printf statement, okay, so that is last year. Only positive integers, please. Okay, so let's uh, clear cut uh, message here uh, to demonstrate uh, just nothing we have done excited about uh, uh, anything about code here. Let's like just we have written a small piece of code which has uh, where we have taken a, a input of i uh, scan, uh, we have taken an uh, Entered input into the variable i and just we have uh, taken two conditions here. Okay, so let us run the program uh, using the control f5 statement here. So enter the value of i. Thank you for a positive number, it should not come like this here. Okay, so enter the value of i. Okay, <laughs> so here we are using unwanted uh, things like okay, so have a slash and statement here. Just that our uh, press any key option goes down. Okay, so we have entered one and it's saying positive number. Okay, so in the same way, if we enter any negative number, it says uh, only positive integers, please. Okay, so in this in this contest, uh, we can make use of our uh, go to statement here by simply uh, placing the go to statement here, like this here. Okay. So now we are uh, using the go to statement and go to statement is always followed by a label okay so label the name of the label uh, this is the go to keyword and this is the name of the label okay so label uh, whatever you wanted it is user defined uh, according to the uh, naming conventions or uh, uh, the whatever the user feels uh, legitimate a name for a label label he can keep it uh, for himself okay so now uh, the label uh, we have placed the label here and we have to specify uh, where this condition should go okay, or, with, or else where the jump should follow okay so now so whenever uh, it's encountered with a label here 
since we have taken a go to label here uh, automatically the condition jumps back to the this part okay so this is the label part and this is the go to statement here okay so this uh, the, then the compiler understands that uh, now, now the control should be taken uh, from here uh, or the execution should be uh, jumped to from here to the from this else block to wherever the label is placed here okay the label can be after uh, after the uh, go to statement or uh, previous to it whatever uh, according to the convenient here the, here our intention is to uh, the repeat the whole process uh, until uh, the user enters a positive integer here okay so here uh, if the user enters uh, a negative number here uh, again the condition uh, the control jumps back to the beginning of the program and again the same process is getting executed here okay it's nothing but like it is nothing like uh, the uh, un unconditional jump okay so here we are uh, 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 looping okay as you can understand uh, this as a loop here so if you run the program you understand better here so if i enter a, a negative number here okay so if i enter a negative number or minus two something like this so the control uh, should automatically jump back okay it should deliver the message and again so if you observe here in the output uh, again it's uh, uh, doing from the beginning okay so again if i enter a negative number like uh, minus three and something like this again so again it, it's keep it uh, keeps on uh, asking for uh, until uh, the user gives the uh, positive uh, integer okay so now if we enter any positive integer here so uh, it delivers the message so thank you for entering the positive uh, number something like that and quits the program okay so if you observe uh, we have made use of this uh, go to statement uh, in that way that if the user enters a negative number the control should jump back from this uh, else block to the so wherever, wherever the label is placed here okay so in the same way you can have a uh, uh, go to label inside a, a if condition also not only in the else but wherever you want it uh, you can have so you can have uh, let's have another uh, go to statement here label let's name the label as label 2 so uh, for that uh, label let's uh, so let's write the uh, the code of the for that label here, uh, down to that one okay so if, if the user enters a positive uh, number so uh, ultimately it enters into this if condition and then afterwards it just encounters this label and now the compiler thinks that it has to take the control uh, from this if condition to directly to the uh, that label where it is placed okay so in this label just let's have a small uh, print of statement okay so let us say that uh, let's have some stupid message here the word doesn't end here goodbye something like this whatever just to demonstrate uh, just for demonstration purpose okay so if you run the program so if you enter uh, some positive value like uh, one or two something uh, something like this apart from uh, Printing, uh, printing the condition so whatever the condition it is there in the uh, if condition which is thank you for entering a, a positive number so apart from print, printing that uh, we also we also have a go to uh, label uh, go to statement which directs uh, in uh, to this uh, label part here okay so now the condition uh, the control jumps from uh, this if condition part uh, to the label uh, where it is placed in down uh, uh, down the program so which has nothing but a, a simple uh, print of statement okay it says that the word does not end here something like this okay so this is the basic uh, underlying concept uh, in the go to statement so re to reiterate let's uh, once again uh, look into the program here we have just taken a, a variable i and we have just entered some value into uh, that uh, variable and then we have uh, uh, we have made a condition here such that uh, if it is a positive number uh, or uh, or else negative number uh, if it is a negative number we have taken a go to statement which has a label and the label directs uh, back to the beginning of the program okay so the condition uh, the condition uh, jumps from here to here okay the control jumps from here to here so again the, the same process is repeated okay so in the same way we can have another uh, go to uh, go to statement inside a if condition also uh, which directs the label uh, to here okay which has a simple small message here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, the go to statement here so see you in the next lesson goodbye